The American Red Cross always has a need for more people to donate blood, but in the wake of Hurricane Sandy, the demand has dramatically increased. The Red Cross donation site in Liverpool is holding a series of blood drives to help collect blood. Our Dora Scheidel joins us live from Liverpool tonight with more on how you can help. Dora. Good evening, Matt and Megan. Here at the Blood Donation Center in Liverpool, American Red Cross employees are putting in extra hours on Halloween in hopes that you'll stop by and help make up for the huge blood donation shortfall due to Sandy. The superstorm forced the cancellation of more than 200 blood drives in the Northeast, and the Red Cross expects even more cancellations while impacted areas deal with the storm's after aftermath. But hopefully, Central New Yorkers will step up to the plate. Are you ready? I'm ready if you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. You yeah. tell me you're ready. Joni Harris hasn't been able to donate blood for the past two years after getting shoulder surgery. They are always calling and asking because there is such a need on a regular basis and um, it bothered me because I, I got good blood. But on Monday her doctor cleared her and she's thrilled to be able to help people again something that happens in your heart when you know that, that, that you're doing something that can be beneficial to somebody else. You know, when you look, for me personally, I look at what I have, and I have so much. There is even more of a need for blood donations after Superstorm Sandy forced the cancellation of more than 200 blood drives. And the need is immediate to make sure an adequate blood supply is available during a disaster. For whole blood, we're looking for O negative, O positive, A neg, B neg. Negatives are very important. For platelets and plasma, we're looking for AB donors. The American Red Cross works very hard to make this process as easy and convenient as possible. The blood donation center here in Liverpool is open seven days a week. All you need is a blood donor card or your driver's license. No appointment necessary. Joni says it's no coincidence she was cleared to donate blood the day Sandy wreaked havoc on the East Coast. Coincidence? No. I think it's a God incidence um, that I got cleared on Monday and then they asked for this. Uh, I, believe that, I believe I heard it last night for the first time. Donating blood is an easy way to help those in need. And you never know when that person in need is you or someone you love. Now the donation center here in Liverpool will be open until 8 o'clock tonight and then they will be open again tomorrow and Friday from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. And the Red Cross is not only looking for blood donations. If you have about two hours to spare, I'll tell you what you can donate to help a cancer patient coming up at 6. For now, reporting live at the blood donation center in Liverpool, I'm Dora Scheidel. Matt, Megan, back to you. Dora, thanks. If you want to donate your time, blood, or money, all of which are needed, we have all that information for you on our website at cnycentral.com.